Hey y'all, it's Tiffany Banks back again with a- another video. <laughs> so, today I want to make a video on a topic that I don't think too many women are discussing. I don't think too many sex workers or 304s and cam girls are really digging deep into this specific topic because maybe they don't want to ruffle any feathers or maybe they don't really care to talk about it or maybe they just don't want to make you know black men feel some type of way but i'm keeping it real so this has every since I'm I have to do more research, but I'm not sure if it's always been like this or if this is just a thing that started at some point. It has always been a rumor or a stereotype that black men are cheap. They don't spend money or if they do spend money they think that they should get more for whatever they spend and um, that could be true and I have some experience with that as a cam girl in a PSO I have experience with black men spending money and since they spent money they think that they control me They think that they could do whatever. They think that, you know, we should have more time or they just try to get more for less money. So I'm going to be speaking on why 304s and cam girls do not care to take on black or young clients. Okay, so let's talk about the black clients first so reasons why most 304s don't like black clients is because not all but a lot and hopefully you know like i said i don't want to ruffle any feathers or hurt no feelings or make people feel some type of way hopefully this video will help black men change the stereotype and be better clients <laughs> if if they want to get into this type of industry you have to be in it you can't get you have to pay to play but let's get back on track get back on topic why do 304s prefer not to have black clients or they prefer they don't really care for black clients they don't really they're not really uh they don't care to take on black clients okay one Number one, or reason number one. Black men are too prideful. They're too, too prideful. Black men think that, oh, I'm, I'm too pretty to pay for kitty cat. I'm too, I look too good to pay for a, a 304 i'm i'm too handsome i could i could go to the club to the strip club and i could get a girl for free i could get some kitty cat for free i could get some yanni for free like i ain't gotta pay for that i'm not paying for that when i could get it for free okay fine you could get it for free but i guarantee you you ain't gonna get it from a bad b for free but okay uh so yeah, that's number one. Number one is too prideful. Number two ties into number one, their ego. Their ego will not let them pay to play. They feel no, th every black man wants to be a pimp or a player. Every black man thinks they are a pimp or a player. Y'all all can't be pimps and players. S some of y'all is tricks. Some of y'all are squares. Some of y'all are just regular. 
y'all all can't be pimp to players. <laughs> all black, oh, they want to be pimps and players. And they want, they all try to finesse. And that's number three. Number three is finesse. It ties into number two. Th- their egos want, won't allow them to say, oh, I had to pay for her. If I didn't pay her, she wouldn't have slept with me. It, it's, I guess it's that thing they think about, like, damn, if I didn't pay for her, she would not give me any time of day. And I feel some type of way about that. You know, it's, it's, it's that ego thing. And number three, which is finesse. Like I just said, finesse. A lot of black men, I, and, and I, oh, this, this may be a part two because I don't like my videos be too long. I know 2022, y'all got short attention spans. <laughs> so uh, I remember I had this one black guy. He he paid for like a Skype show, but this was when I was like new. Just got in the game. I was new. I was a new cam girl for like two months. I had this black guy and I was on cam soda. And this is one of the reasons out of hundreds of reasons why I do not like cam soda. Uh, cam soda has a lot of black clientele, a lot of young clientele. And I, like I said, when you, when you pick a cam site, it's all about your clientele. It's all about, you have to F with the clientele. If you don't F with the clientele, that ain't the site for you. You're not, you're not gonna do good on that site. Move around, go around. So anyways, my experience with a black guy, and, and this is what made me realize what other 304s was talking about, where they say they don't take black clients. And I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna tell you my experience. So this black guy, like I said, I was new and didn't know no better. So he wanted a Skype show. So me being new, young and dumb, I told him to send me $20 for like 10 minutes. Or I think it was $20 for 15 minutes. So he sent it. We got on Skype. He, you know, proceeded to say hi, how you doing? And I was like, hey, how you doing? We talked and then, you know, we got into the the sexy stuff. And, um, you know, I was like, then he, he kept telling me, oh, bend over, twerk. Oh, let me see your tits. Oh, lay down on the bed, get, get on the bed. And, oh, spread your legs. Oh, oh, uh, put put the eggplant in your hoo-ha. And, oh, put the vibrator on your hoo-ha. And, oh, okay, go back there. Oh, stay in here. Do this. Do that. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And by the time I was finished with all that, it was 45 minutes. So he finessed me out of my time and my services. He paid $20 for 45 minutes. When it's $20 for 15 minutes, $50 for... 30 minutes and anything over 30 minutes is $75. So he got a $75 time frame for $20. And he knew that he did that. He knew what he was doing. And that's another thing. Aside from the the pride, the ego, the finesse, and number four, the fourth reason why 304s don't care to take on black clients is because they want more for their money. A black man feels like if he pays you, you got to throw that ass in a circle, do splits and climb the pole and do splits on the, and act a fool and do jumping jacks and cartwheels and backflips and you got to you gotta be Cherokee and Pinky and you got to be a, the top-notch PH star. Ooh, child. So, yeah, black men want too much for a little bit of money. Now, I can see if you spend in bands and racks and racks and racks, okay, fine. But if you spend in a little $20, $50, no, you, you, don't, you don't get the splits on the, on the D and, and the Pinky and Cherokee, okay? 
And if you ever approach Pinky at Cherokee, you you spend it five hundred to a thousand, two thousand plus just just to see them. And um, uh, so yeah, and um, that's just that. And uh, I think I might have to do a part two of why. Women don't like to take young clients. So this video is why women don't care to take black clients. Those are the reasons. So, but now that is not to say that there are not any good black clients. There are some good black clients, but they are very rare. And it's not too many of them, okay? It's not too many. And black men, I don't know if any black men is listening to this video. Y'all get your ish together. Get it together break this stereotype because it don't look good like this stereotype is making y'all look broke and cheap like stop it stop it stop it but uh yeah so thank you ladies for watching please like comment and subscribe part two is coming soon part two is going to be why three or fours do not mess with young guys and i'll stay tuned for that and stay tuned for many many more to come all right y'all peace